Hey guys, welcome to Punky's World on the brand new tripod. Love this tripod. It is so sturdy. And it's so heavy that it's not going to break. And the feet on it are, you know, also heavy duty. So, anyway. I got the other one already. Tabletop or countertop to use. Um, I may have to tweak it a little. But, anyway. So, to genealogy. I did a lot of work while I was watching wrestling. Um, so, I was able to get information on all the books that I have. I got a couple more. I actually was able to buy one with my Google Play rewards that I still have. <coughs> from an old Google Play card. So, I bought a book. I downloaded two new free books, and I printed this book offline. This is the Farrington family, which is my family. Um, so, tuck that in there. Put that down in there. There we go. No, that didn't work very well. I'll just put it over here. Nope. Put it down here. That'll work. Um, I went through and got some links from Tracing Your Northern Irish Ancestors, as well as some of my other books. Um, I highly recommend 101 Best Genealogy Websites. That was a, a quick, quick go-through. It's a, a short guide. Um, I've had it for a while. Um, they recommend internment.net, not dot not. <laughs> it looks like dot not. Um, for burials and stuff, because they've been around since 1997. I also have a book called Family Tree Problem Solver, which is a book that delves into... Um, brick walls. I have another brick wall book too somewhere. Um, and I did not link those books yesterday. So and you can go online and find histories that you can download. Um, I actually downloaded more right off Google Playbooks, as well as that Farrington one that I found elsewhere. If you're looking for um, Irish, Belfast, P-O-V-H-I-S-T dot com, or Ulster Ancestry Free Pages. Um or igp-web.com. The Ulster Historical Foundation has pay-to-view records. They also have some free records. Um, and you can see the index for free. So, those are things to consider based on the books that I have. Um... Now, there are books for different ancestries. You know, if your ancestry happens to be German, which <laughs> mine is not very much German. Um, that isn't to say I couldn't use a German book because my grandfather, the man that I call my grandfather, was very much German. <laughs> um, and that would help with his side of the family in terms of finding records and stuff. Definitely down the road. Um, you know, because I consider him to be my grandfather for all intents and purposes. John Schmidt. And of course, his mother's name was Schultz. Yeah, he was just a wee bit German. Just a wee bit. <laughs> like, completely. Um, 
I think if he took a DNA test, there wouldn't be any surprises there. Paternal line, German. Maternal line, German. <laughs> I'm not sure there'd be anything else. <laughs> well, I would say Germanic Europe, but it would be specifically Germany. Uh, like I said, I don't know what else there would be. Maybe way, way back there'd be other stuff. You know, Austrian and, and whatever Germany was before. Um... <laughs> So, yeah. <laughs> One of those lines you don't have to wonder about, you know? No, my French-Canadian line is a little more... A little more difficult. Not difficult to research. It's easy to research. Um, difficult in the sense of like reading the records because not only did they write teeny tiny I apologize if you can hear people talking it's a nice day people are outside across the street um, <clears throat> but also um, the handwriting you know if you could if I could print out a record take my magnifying glass slowly look at the handwriting I might be able to get enough familiar words to be able to decipher it, you know, as long as I recognize the name and I know what basic words for the months of the year are, um, I can figure out the days for the days of the week, that sort of thing, um, I should be able to figure that out. So, you know, so I know enough French to be dangerous, but not enough French to actually have a conversation, if that makes sense. Um, and the other day, speaking of languages, <coughs> I did not realize how much Latin I actually retained in this head of mine, but I was watching one of those puzzle shows that I've been watching and um, the guy was doing the puzzle and one of the clues was in Latin. It was a statement in Latin. Actually it looked like a freaking paragraph. And if somebody had held it to the camera longer so I could have gotten a good, um, what do you call it, screenshot of it so I could have looked at enough of it, I was discovering that I could read it, which is insane. Thank you so much, Mr. LaMontagne, because I know it because of your teaching. And he would be so proud, you know, that I could read it. But I needed to see it longer because I knew some of the words. But I had to fill in the context, and I didn't see it long enough to do it. So, but it's funny, I did not expect that when I looked at it, to be able to read it. <clears throat> I'm like, holy moly, how is that possible? You know? By the way, this is the uh, box. The unboxing was in the last video, which was the wrestling video. Um, yeah, it has a GoPro mount, it has a smartphone mount, and it has the um, camera mount. The first time I got a GoPro mount, I had no idea what it was. I'm like, what is this amount for? And, um, Looking around, you and I figured it out. Um, this goes from two feet up to 67 inches, which is over six feet, I believe. Um, <coughs> camera not included. No. 
I thought that nice DSLR camera was included. <laughs> uh, not so much. <laughs> anyway, um, if any idiot thought that that DSLR camera was included for 25 bucks with this thing, you're out of their mind. <laughs> I didn't pay that. <laughs> because they gave me my money back and I used that as credit toward this. So, and I'm still waiting to get my money back on the uh, computer because I'm not paying that bill until the money comes off of there so I have the correct bill. I also would like to pay my bill for uh, what do you call it? Best Buy, but I have to, I can't even set up a, um, what do you call it? Uh, an online, I can't set up online until I get my card because I need my card number. <laughs> so, Once it's paid off, it's being canceled. And yes, I understand, first of all, getting it will put a hit on my um, credit score. Making the payments will be good for my credit score. Paying it off will be excellent. But canceling it will also put a hit on my credit score. And I get that. But those bounce back pretty quickly. So I'm not worried about it now that I understand how it works. First time that happened to me, I'm like, oh my God, I was like 26 points. And it was explained to me that you'll get that back in the next couple of months. And I did. Because I canceled the card and I lost like 26 points. <clears throat> and then everybody said, don't worry about it. You'll get that back. Next couple of months, keep paying on your bills. You'll get it back. And they were right. Um, so... Um, there. I'm trying to think. So, yeah. This I got from Walmart because, like I said, I had the credit. It came back instantly. He thought it was going to take two hours. It popped up as I was talking to him. He said, holy cow. Um, on the one that never came in. So... And I'm glad that happened that way because this one here is like industrial strength. It's crazy strength and it's heavy. Ugh. So I think the Lord knew what he was doing like he always does. And I got a better deal. Um, I will try to remember to put links in this video that I failed to put in the last video. Actually, I'll go back to the last video and edit those links. Um, show you how I do this. When you want to edit in a video, okay, a video that's already made, let me pull this up, and that's already posted, this is what you do. You wait for it to load. Um, <laughs> waiting for my HP to load. code to get in and get into my computer. Open this. And I'm going to go to yesterday's genealogy video, which is right here. Okay, I'm going to click on it inside my studio. And I'm going to Link both books. Okay, we have book. Okay. This is third edition, correct? Uh, yep. 
Okay, I've got it. Copy, come over here, paste. And the other one is tracing your roots for free. So let's go back right here. Whoops. T R A C I N G. Your. Is it roots for free? Hold on. Oh, it's ancestors, right? Yep. Ancestors. S-T-O-R-S for free. Okay. Uh, B-O-O-K. Book. <laughs> Here it is. Copy. And paste. Okay. Save. Now, the links that I was supposed to put in yesterday are there. Okay. So. That's how you do it. You simply copy and paste them into the description. And yes, these are freaking long, but come on. It's still saving. <laughs> Another place I highly recommend you go if you're looking for reading material on genealogy and people's opinions of it, Goodreads which I will link while I'm here as well. Um, this is my personal Goodreads that I'm linking here. Whoops. Where did it go? Oh my goodness. Really? Ah. No, not in my chart, you moron. my ear. Okay. I'm going to put that here as well. Because Goodreads actually is really good. I'm going to put it right here. Paste. I'll probably put it in today's as well. Um, and just saved. Okay. Now, I'm all set to do today's. And that's all you do. Um, like I said, I did give you my personal Goodreads um, link. It doesn't do anything for me. It's just my personal link so you can see what, what books I've reviewed and stuff like that. They're not all genealogy, obviously. Um, and what books I'd like to read, stuff like that. Um, you can make your own. And you can just search Goodreads. It just happens to be what I have is my own good reads but you can search it make your own list whatever you want to do I like mine also because it connects me to some of my friends and family and what they're reading so um, and that's something you can do too which helps with genealogy um, so yeah that's where we're at thank you so much for joining me God bless you. Have a wonderful rest of your weekend. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, guys. Mwah.